In this video, I'll show you how to play Third Generation Nation by the Dead Boys off the We Have Come For Your Children record. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave a comment what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see next time. And here we go. All right, so the song's in the key of E and it has two guitars, um, but I'm going to kind of combine them into one. They're, they play similar parts throughout the song, um, but I'm gonna kind of show you the way to play it if you were using one guitar. So it starts off with a high E and it kind of builds up. So you're gonna start with basically just the root note, the seventh fret of the A string. Then you're gonna build up to the, the, the bottom two strings, so that um, the A and the D string, until you're playing the full chord. So it goes like this. chords which are a G A E so it goes then the fourth time you're going to end on a B instead of an E so that intro all the way through goes And then there's a, uh, a lead part that plays over the top during the last uh, three times of that uh, of those chords, um, and it goes like this. So let's break down that lead part. Um, basically, you're going to start off with this kind of two note. Um, and uh, Cheetah Chrome kind of goes between playing two notes and, and single notes, um, but it's, it sounds pretty cool to play it like this with the double notes. But he kind of does the double notes and then goes back and forth, so he'll play it like four. So, I mean, it's really hard to hear on the record, so kind of a combination of the two works well. well. Um, so it goes. So basically, it's open on the G string and B string. Then you're gonna put your um, ring finger or uh, middle finger on the second fret of the G string and also play the open B string. So. Then you're gonna bend. So. And then you're gonna basically let off. So. And then one more bend. And you can play with that open on the B string too. So that first part all the way through. And then he's gonna slide up to um, basically the 12th position. And with your ring finger on the 14th fret of the D string, you're gonna play like a similar sounding pattern. So it goes. play with alternate picking at the beginning but you don't have to and then he's going to basically do this kind of like slide to the 12th fret where you're playing the, the 12th fret on the B and the E strings and you, you can use alternate picking on that too then he moves down to the seventh fret and um, you're gonna play this Chuck Berry style uh, part There's some bends, so. And then it does some more Chuck Berry. So that part all the way through. So that part all the way through slowly. Now 
we're going to move on to the verse. And the verse you're going to play an E, uh, an e chord, basically at the with your root finger at the index finger at the seventh fret of the A string. And then you're going to do this little accent where you put your uh, pinky finger at the tenth fret of the B string. Then you're going to slide down into a B, similar chord. So it has a really cool sound and gives it a little bit of an accent there. And then you're going to go into, I guess, this would be like the pre-chorus. And uh, so it goes like this. Um, so it goes. And then you're going to basically, then you're going to go into the chorus, which is just the exact same chords, but played a little differently. So, uh, going from the pre-chorus. Then that last chord of the chorus doesn't complete the chorus. The la when you go move to that E, you're gonna be starting the verse over again. So it goes. So um, I'll play that pre-chorus and chorus all the way through again. Now, uh, during the chorus, there's some fills that Cheetah Chrome plays over the E chord. So he just plays on that last E chord. So when you hit that E, that's where the fill comes in. So each time you play the chorus, there's going to be three different fills that Cheetah Chrome plays. And um, so I'll show you the ones that he plays in the first two choruses. So the first one goes like this. So it's just a hammer on at the seventh, ninth fret of the G string. And then 8th fret of the B string. Then the second one is going to be played with your ring finger at the 12th fret of the high E string. And it goes from the 12th fret to the 10th fret. Then the third one, you're going to do your index finger at the 12th fret and your ring finger at the 15th fret. And it goes... And when you go to the second chorus, the second time you play the chorus, um, it's going to do the first one's going to be index finger at the 10th fret, and it's a bend up and down to the 12th fret of the D string. So, and he tends to kind of slide off uh, when he ends those fills. Then the next fill on the second chorus, the second fill on the second chorus goes. Bend up with your index finger at the 10th fret of the E string. And then the last one, you can also play with your ring finger. It's uh, both notes are on the 12th fret. Just a double bend and kind of a slide off. Then after the second chorus, we're going to go into this bridge part, which goes like this. Breaking it down, it's basically... Then you're going to slide into that G chord. So it's a half a step slide. 
And then over that G chord, the she's just gonna play uh, this little fill, and it's in G, so he's your basically the root of the scale is gonna be at the third fret, um, and you're gonna play the fifth fret of the G string. So it's a bend up. So here's the whole fill. So bend up at the fifth fret of the G string to the third fret. And then a double bend. Then back to the first part. Then you're going to slide into the D. It ends short, and then she's going to play this bend at the 12th fret of the B string. Uh, with your index finger at the 12th fret of the B string and your ring finger at the 14th fret of the G string. And you bend up until the 14th fret matches the 12th fret. And then it goes back into the chorus. And it's going to play the chorus uh, several times through with, the, with uh, some of those fills I showed you before. And um, the only difference this time is there's gonna, you're going to kind of hold that E in between the chorus part. So it goes. And then you start it over. So you kind of ride that, that E for a measure before you go back to starting over on that C again. Then the very last time on the chorus, you're going to do this kind of repeating part, and you go from the C to the D over and over again, and then end on the E. So. So slowly. And then on each of the D chords, Cheetah plays this bend, same bend you played earlier, index finger on the 12th fret, ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string. So it goes. So whenever you play that D, whenever the first guitar plays the D, the cheetah's gonna be playing that bend, so it, it kind of sounds more like. And then the, the last time you play that D, he does not play that fill. Instead, he plays a bend at, on the high E. So the last two notes of the high E. There's going to be a bend with your index finger on the 12th fret of the E string and your ring finger at the 15th fret of the B string. And you do it twice. So, so playing the part with, uh, so you can hear cheetahs, it goes. And that's it for this song. I uh, hope you liked the lesson. Remember to like the video and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos every week. And leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see next time. And I'll see you guys next time.